Well, what a night for a San Diego native, Andrew Day, who made history at last night's Golden Globe Awards. Yeah, she took home the award for Best Actress in a Motion Picture Drama for her role in the United States versus Billie Holiday, becoming the first black actress to win in that category since Whoopi Goldberg for The Color Purple back in 1986. And the Golden Globe goes to Andrew Day. <laughs> to the amazing, transformative, dynamic uh, Billie Holiday, who just, just transformed me with this role and with her presence and with her spirit. I love all of you so much and just like... <laughs> It is kind of a cool scene to see them surrounded by their family members yeah. as they're reading that speech. Overwhelmed, and she is because she is a, a star in talent. Now she's got a star by her name after winning that award and after that performance. Oh, Incredible yes. stuff. Yes, what a night for her. Yeah, and Andrew Day, she actually began singing as a young girl at the First United Methodist Church in Chula Vista and attended San Diego Unified School of Creative and Performing Arts from 1997 to 2002. Okay, so I know she moved here when she was a toddler, but I consider her a San Diego yeah. native. She was in the advanced level dance classes, the choral ensemble and advanced musical theater. One of her teachers was Bill Doyle, and he joins us now right here on the floor to talk about this amazing homegrown talent. First of all, Bill, good afternoon. We're glad you're here. Good afternoon. Glad to be here. Well, that must have been an exciting night for you as well, Bill, to watch one of your former students accept that award, Best Actress. There was a lot of screaming and giggling and hugging going on in Doyle Stevens' household last night, yes. You had her as a student. You have a lot of talented students come through, but did you back then see something this special in her? Did, did you see someone that was going to be a star? I saw someone that had the potential to become a star, um, but I see a lot of those. I think what has happened between high school and now is what made her the star, which was a lot of a lot of hard work and a lot of diligence um, that paid off in a incredible way. In a monumental way, Bill, are you still keeping in touch with her? I, I know that obviously she's uh, very busy oh, right now, of accepting awards. She was she was kind enough when we when um, I retired um, three years ago. All of a sudden, at the end of the celebration that was given to me um, in my retirement, all of a sudden. Uh, she shows up on stage with a, a fellow singer and um, sang us out of that celebration. That's the last time I've seen her. Uh, so what else in, the, in that school, who else? Are there other stars, young stars that you've seen that are people that you think are names we can look out for on the big screen and, and other formats? Well, I mean... Um, Sara Ramirez, who won a Tony, and Kristen Hoff, who won a Tony, they were actually before uh, Cassandra, before Andra. Um, uh, let's see, Brian Crum is, uh, it was a runner-up on America's Got Talent. There's lots of that have come through, and I guarantee you there will be lots more. It's just, you see so much talent go through, you don't know who's going to, to put in the hard work that takes you from incredibly talented to star. So um, I'm sure there will be others to follow. Absolutely, and congratulations again to Andrew Day and to The Village, because we know it takes The Village yeah. to bring up a star like that. So uh, congratulations to you as well. Bill Doyle, thanks for your time this afternoon. Thank you.